Usually, a two and a half inch hose is used for supply line and a gated Y is attached, allowing the addition of one or two smaller diameter fire attack lines. The problem is solved similarly to previous problems. You must break the problem into two, solving for both friction loss in the supply, total GPM for both attack lines, and the attack lines themselves. In this scenario, the firefighters are ordered to pull 300 feet of 2.5 inch hose with attaching a gated Y and flowing two 100 foot inch and 3 quarter hose lines, each flowing 200 GPM. First, solve for the FLR rate for 300 feet of 2.5 inch hose. In this case, since both inch and 3 quarter lines are identical, Add the total fire flow GPM, 200 plus 200 equals 400. Use 400 GPM for the FLR for the 2.5 inch hose. For the inch and 3 quarter hose lines, since equal water is flowing through both lines and both lines are alike, we only need to solve for one line. Before you set up the problem, don't forget to convert the inch and three quarter hose line GPM to two and a half inch equivalent flow or times two. We'll set this up as pump pressure equals nozzle pressure plus friction loss rate times length plus appliance loss plus friction loss rate times length. We'll start with the supply line the two and a half inch hose line. FLR equals 2Q squared and Q equals GPM over 100. In this case, GPM is 400 for both lines divided by 100 where Q is 4. Friction loss rate equals 2 times 4 squared or 32 per 100 feet of hose. For the inch and three quarter attack lines, FLR equals 2Q squared, Q equals GPM over 100. In this case, Q equals 400 divided by 100 because we take the original 200 GPM and multiply it by 2, the conversion rate for inch and three quarter hose. So, FLR equals 2 times 4 squared, which equals 32. Now let's plug into the problem what we know. 100 PSI for fog, 32 times 3 for the supply line, 5 PSI for the appliance loss, and 32 times 1 for the attack lines. Then pump pressure would equal 100 plus 96 plus 5 plus 32 for a total of 232 PSI.